Good day, everyone. Welcome back. It's Eddie here from Dawa UK Maidenhead. Um, today we are going to cover the NKB 1000 uh, basic setup, how to use it, what to do, um, and then what we'll be doing if you want to see a little bit more of the successor of the NKB uh, 1000, which is the NKB 5000. We will feature that in a different video, so click in the link in the description below um, and we'll show, we'll be doing a setup video of the NKB 5000. Today we're focusing on one of the more popular devices, which is the NKB 1000. Today what we are going to do is just give you a quick run around on just how to set it up, how to default it when you get to a site. So just to give you a quick show that this device is working and we can basically just control everything that we need to control on it. And we are just going to take it from there and just show you guys how, how everything works. So you can see everything is working on this. We are going to factory default this device, start off with the nice and easy simple things to do. And also just bear in mind, one thing to do is whenever you get your device, when you open it or you get to a side takeover and you've got an NKB 1000, make sure your firmware is up to date. If you don't know how to update the firmware, get in contact with your local support team, your distributor that sold you the product or your local Dower team, they can help you do the firmware upgrade, get the files and everything that you need for it. So we're going to do a factory default on this device and we're going to do the setup completely from scratch. So the main part on how to factory default is you hold down the escape button till you see the screen go blank and you wait a few seconds. So we're going to hold it down and then just keep a close eye on the LCD. You'll see it's going to go blank after a few seconds and then it will welcome you with an NKB um, logo. Once that is done, you know the device is factory defaulted, which means you are then going to reset everything up from scratch. So we'll show you exactly how to add a recorder and a PTZ by making sure that the IP addresses are correct and by typing in correct passwords making sure everything just matches with your recorder and with your camera's passwords as well. So that is busy booting up. Once we've got that loaded. Okay, so device is fully powered on. First things first, we need to make sure once we start getting everything set up is to get in your password. So your default password is six eights. Go enter, we're gonna go menu and then you're going to go system first. You want to make sure your times are all correct. We want to keep that on 24 hour and then you're going to hit enter. You then want to come to network. You want to provide this device with a IP address that won't clash with your IP range that you are currently running. So for that, you're going to make sure on your actual recorder, that you take a look and see what your recorder's IP address is and maybe take it one up from that or one down from that and just make sure that it doesn't clash with any of your cameras. So we are going to go one up from this, turn DHCP off. It's then going to prompt you for your IP address. So we're going to use 5.133. We're going to come down. We're going to make that five and then we are done. Then you're going to hit enter, successful. So now what we want to do from here is we are now want to add a device. So first, first of all, we've got the recorder already basically set up now. So we're going to go to zone control and add zones. So that is the important part for us now. So we're going to go menu, zone, enter. So ID and name, that's entirely up to you what you would like to call it. For the purposes of the video, we are going to just make it one and one type. That will go according to the device that you are trying to connect to. So for this, we are going to go to NVR. 
we are then going to make sure that we get the correct information from the NVR. So that's going to be 5, 1, 3, 2, come down, and then we're going to do the password. So what we're going to do is, I'm just going to show you. So you can see at the moment it's highlighted under 1, 2, 3. When you hit shift, it will make it all lowercase abc. So we're going to go admin. Shift, 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 one, two, three, and then enter. So now we've added the recorder successfully. Now we want to add a PTZ. So this is where you now need to come back and see, okay, what cameras are on your system and what zone you would like to add to it. So we're just going to use D4 for now, which is a PTZ. So we're going to go enter. We're going to make that zone 2. We're going to name that 2. We're going to go to SD, which is speed dome. We're going to add in the IP address, which is 237. We're going to come down. Just clear that out. And we're going to hit shift, lowercase abc. We're going to go admin. And then shift, 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 one, two, three, and we're going to hit enter. So all that we want to do now is zone control. So now you can, from this menu, you can now select zone control. You go in, you select your ID, which is one, it's a recorder, and that will now connect to the recorder. Or if you want to, we can use zone two. And that will now connect to the PTZ directly. And it will show you as you pan, tilt, zoom. And once you are done, we can just go back to ID 1 and enter. And that will then connect to the recorder again. If you just want to view a singular camera, you select the camera. You go cam and that will open up just that camera. If it's a PTZ like... Um, the particular channel that we've just chosen, you go for and PTZ, and that will open up the PTZ menu. If you want to change your multi view, you select a number. So if we want to go into a four split, we're going to go for multi, and that will change it into those zones. Or you can go eight multi, and that will take it into an eight multi for you. If you just want to view your PTZ and control that PTZ, you're going to hit 4 and PTZ. And now you are able to control that PTZ wherever you go, whatever you do, you'll be able to control that PTZ completely. So, or if we now just want to use a normal PTZ standard, then we're going to connect just to the PTZ without the recorder and that's now connecting to the PTZ, not to the recorder. So if there are any other questions that you guys would like to know about the device, please comment in the description below, like and share, and please keep in touch and we'll upload some more awesome videos for you guys. Thank you very much. Have an awesome day.